What is happening everybody? This is Warman here and we are back with Empires of the Undergrowth. What is happening everyone? Oh yeah, don't forget guys. I'm doing my giveaway. It ends Monday morning, 8 a.m. Eastern Time. So if you want to make sure you get in there, you gotta get in the description below in YouTube or go to my Discord for Twitch or anyone else. Or mixer go to my discord it will have all the information there or you could hit exclamation mark giveaway and it should pop up put it in the description below oh so that's how you can see their health interesting okay all right so we're doing the harvest again Let's win this time, shall we? <laughs> this young queen has successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leaf cutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. These are going to be my worker or my my one set of workers over here. The small scouting party of minor workers could lead any number of deadly jungle creatures back to their undefended queen. They will need time and luck on their side. And this is gonna be all food storage. The workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. And this will be our waste area. The harvested leaf chunks are not eaten directly. Instead, they are used by the very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus.
get this stuff going. The ants' activities outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched. Good, let them watch me. This right here is going to be for those majors. And Getting there. The most accessible leaves are located to the north of the nest entrance. They already However, start out with fucking another ant colony Almost. has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which <coughs> will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. Minions make me some fungus. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. Well, we'll just have to kill him, won't we? Alright, so the key is going to be getting up one stack of these guys first. We get these up, we should be in pretty good shape.
As the sun sets below the horizon, and the thick rainforest canopy shrouds all but the slightest glimmer of moonlight, the predators of the night begin to emerge. We're starting to get up there. Starting to come in more and more. Alright, so my key goal this time is, see, they're going over this way and everything like that. I'm going to take their food first. That way they have to come down this way for it, for ours. But I'm going to have three sets of workers. I'm going to have two go up here. One go here. Got it full. Okay, and if we really want to, we could kind of dig more going this way if we want more. But, um. Actually, I think I will. I want 25. Okay. is going to be food area. go we got that too all right so this is all going to be worker too these rove beetle larvae are distant relatives of the european devil's coach horse Despite a few million years of separation, they share the same carnivorous appetite, razor-sharp pincers, and most importantly, 
a fearsome final form. Getting there. Daybreak has arrived, and the creatures of the night scurry back to the dark crevices of the undergrowth. For the ants, however, the objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. Alright, we'll have them go that way until we can get some workers, er, some majors, and er, not majors, uh, some, some of these guys in. But first... Let me get these in. The ants must defend themselves. This went pretty quick too. We did that pretty fast, didn't we? There we go. 
Okay, so we could get start doing the other stuff now. All right. Now we could start getting these guys in and then we can get um Damn it. Leafcutters aren't the only ants nearby. Whilst the two atta colonies joust for territory, Odontomachus bowery trap jaws roam the clearing. They can be found hunting alone or in small packs for vulnerable invertebrates to take back to their nest. They use snapping jaws to bludgeon their targets, exerting 300 times their body weight in a single blow. go that direction while wow, number three continues to get this stuff over here One of the ants has fallen prey to a young, leaf-mimic praying mantis. Once in range, its long, razor-clad forelegs can ensnare and impale victims with lightning speed. Alright, so we got that. What the hell? Damn jumping spiders. <coughs> I 
I don't know why they're not replenishing. Get them going over here away from the danger for right now seems like that's all they're gonna do is keep walking and getting killed so Give us that food. We're getting killed. first major <laughs> about time you freaking guys killed that damn thing Night falls, and under the cloak of darkness, velvet worms, bush crickets, and harvestmen emerge from their hiding places. Any ant straying from the relative safety of the trail will likely meet with an unfortunate end. Really, a prey mantis again? An ant has fallen prey to a wandering harvestman. Its long, slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter, and when threatened, it can release strong-smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. This way we ain't catching up. I mean, all the enemies, all they do is attack me. A Paracantus varius bush cricket has spotted the ants. Its thorax and appendages are adorned with sharp protruding spikes, offering 360 degrees of protection and turning its substantial forelegs into a pair of deadly flails. This spiny devil will not easily be deterred. Thank <laughs> you. 
Overwhelmed by the defensive leafcutter forces, the Harvestman decides to make a swift exit. can't get it that way we'll go this way <coughs> these leaves are contested the leaf cutters will generally not attack unless provoked but tonight there is too much at stake only a strong show of force will deter the opposing colony. Ridiculous, man. You would think they would notice to go right here, right? And grab this stuff before they go up this way. never gonna win this one I just don't understand why not I mean I tried The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back, and in greater numbers. Good, we finally won something. Damn. About time, right? There's no way we beat them now.
As the sun rises over the treetops above, the diurnal jungle invertebrates emerge once again to replace their nighttime counterparts. The ants will remain steadfast in their efforts. All must be risked for the harvest. I think next time what I'm going to do is I'm going to have two sets instead. And then I'm just going to The leaf cutters have clashed them. northeast of the nest. I mean, come on. Look, there's this right here. Why are you going around it? We definitely lost this one. I should have just went right for it. You know what? Let's go right for him. What would happen, right? Let's get them all together. attack them. Maybe if we kill them, we'll win. As the leaves nearby oh, are depleted time. and the superior Damn. hillside atta colony cuts off access to new pastures, the nest falls into ruin. The ants grow weak, the Maybe gardens we rot, best. and the queen is left to starve. Her reign has ended. You know what? I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Next time, like I said, we'll try that. And try a different way of going about it. 
I think what I'm going to do is next time, just like I said, build one thing of workers, one thing of, uh, of uh, the majors, and then one thing of uh, the other thing. The super majors. And then, um, yeah, take the... And just upgrade them as fast as I can. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this stream. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe and follow. And don't forget to join my Discord. And don't forget to check out the giveaway. Alright? It ends Monday, 8 a.m. Alright, good luck guys. Have a good one.